ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اما بعد فعن عائشه رضي الله عنها قالت يا رسول الله ان لي جارين فالى ايهما اهدي فقال صلى الله عليه وسلم الى اقربهما منك بابا رواه البخاري رحمه الله this hadith has few points that i want to reflect upon which I always advise to always, whenever you read an ayah or a hadith, reflect deeply about the meaning. Don't just take the apparent meaning and you won't benefit too much. We talked before about the ayah, فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ The ayah apparently asks people of knowledge when you don't know. How about if you know? There's someone that knows better. You see? I mean, just, just a question. Uh, you ask, sometimes you need to ask yourself questions or ask questions, hypothetical questions, to see if there is any other benefit. Uh, this is like uh, saying, if you do such and such, you get such and such. What if I don't? So you know the positive and the negative to it, the ins and the outs. So ask people of knowledge what you don't know. This is referring to matters that you don't know if it's halal or haram. What if you know it's halal or haram, but you don't know if it is more rewarding or less rewarding? Yeah, Yashir, I enter the question. The adhan is being called. Should I pray to Rak'ah or repeat after the Adhan? As'alu ahla al-dhikri kuntum la ta'alamu Here you know both of them are good But you want to know which one is most rewarding Which one do you think brother? Repeating after the Adhan Why? Why? What about when you enter the message Don't sit until you pray to Rak'ah But there's a better answer. If I can accomplish both of them, why should I do one or the other? I listen to the other and I pray after that. Tayyip, what if you enter the masjid and the imams start Pray or listen to the Imam? Both. Now? Both. <laughs> That's a good one. Both, yeah, you pray or you listen to the Imam. <laughs> Why you pray? That's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> five, so you get the idea. So here, Aisha radiallahu anha asked the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam something. She said, Oh Prophet of Allah, I want to give a gift to my neighbors. And I have two. Which one I give it to? So here we have a question. She's asking, she knows both of them rewarding, but she wants the most rewarding. And that's what we always say. Compete for the highest rewarding thing. I feel like reading Quran. And I feel like praying. Which one you do? Which? Pray. pray. Naturally, because praying includes the Quran. You can read the Quran and the prayer. So Aisha said, I have two neighbors. Which one should I give it to? So she asked rather than taking a hard guess and not knowing it. That's number one. Number two, the gift itself. Which one give a gift? Wow, that's nice. 
Why she wants to give a gift for that? To get rewards. She has too much of it? To get rewards? Hassan, to get rewards. She wants to get Hassanah. This is the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam called Al Hadiyya Tudhibu Wahar Al Qal. Hadiyya, if you are angry at someone and he gives you a gift, wow. It sucks all the, the anger out of your heart. You no longer have the same hatred. Just maybe just a simple gift. And that's why the gift is always good. So she wants to get the hasanat. She asked the Prophet ﷺ. Look at the answer of the Prophet ﷺ. He said to the one whose door is closer to you. You know what that means? The house could be closer to you, but not the door. Yeah, I mean, the door could be closer to you, but the other neighbor, his house is closer, but not the door. Why? It's like you read the hadith and you, I understand, and you go on. But did you understand why? No. Did you ask? Why don't you ask why? Aisha, she cares. That's why she is such a spectacular learner. And the Sahaba were learning from her because she questions everything. And she asks for guidance from the Prophet for everything. So she asked, he told her, وسلم, if you have a problem in the house, who's going to save you faster? The one with the closed door, not the closed building. So if you need, that's number one. Number two, if I take groceries or something and I enter my house, who sees me? Children. We're taking, and he or probably nobody sees you even if you don't even carry groceries these days. Someone else does it to you. Uh, but in our homes, back home, in other countries, people sit at the doorstep. You bring something inside, the children don't, they cannot afford it, they don't have it, they like it. It's nice to give it from them. It's nice to check on them. It's nice to feel with them and all that, and the closer it is. We get from that, that the Prophet Sallallahu follows also, we know, the Quran. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Ta'ala said, وَعُبُّ اللَّهُ وَلَا شَيْئًا وَبِالْوَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانًا وَبِذُ الْقُرْبَى وَالْيَتَامَى وَالْمَسَاكِينَ وَالْمِسْتَبِيرِ وَالْجَارِ ذِي الْقُرْبَى وَالْجَارِ الْجُنُبِ وَالصَّاحِبِ بِالْجَنْبَى وَالْمِسْتَبِيرِ So you're talking about closer to you, little by little, the closer to you, the more important to take care of, similarly with our relationship with families. I don't take my zakah and send it to some country and I have some relatives who are in need or some neighbor who is in need or someone even in the, in the city where I am who is in need. You start, the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam of Shukar, bi nafsik, thumma bi man ta'ul, thumma al-akhraf al Start with yourself, then those you are in charge of, then the closer to you. Because those are the people who will come at you, rescue, if you need help too. So this is the beauty of the short hadith. O oh, Prophet of Allah, I have two neighbors. Which one should I give the gift to? The one with the door close to you. It includes questioning, racing for hasanat, doing good for the neighbor, benefiting yourself in the hereafter, and it may benefit you in this dunya. So my advice to myself and you always, always ask. If you don't know, and ask when you know to elevate yourself higher or to confirm the knowledge that you have. Men, the beginning of seeking knowledge is guess what? Asking. What's the second part? Subhanakallahumma <laughs> Pray your sunnah and don't run. Now I